Hi, to start off with question one, one thing that I thought was really revealing and interesting about this play is the use of violence and how it almost carried the plot line and kind of pushed from point A to point B. It was used to show power, weakness, conflict, confusion, etc. And it was almost like shown as human nature, like it was the only way to solve some of the conflicts within the play. Question two, um, one value that was really prevalent to me was the battle of like selfishness between versus selflessness. Um, Pentheus like keeps order and kind of is more for the people, although he is kind of narcissistic. While Dionysus is completely like uses women um, completely like for self interest, does everything for himself, and kind of has bad intentions. And along with that, Pentheus like tries to defend the women that are being possessed by Dionysus. And another theme that is heavily discussed within this play is identity. For instance, Dionysus changes forms a lot, like kind of shapeshifts into people and uses them to his advantage. And one that was really prevalent is Agave. She loses herself in drunken recklessness and even goes on to kill her own son out of like being possessed. And that shows like the importance of identity and knowing who you are and staying true to that. Question three, one thing that I did not quite understand about this was the scene where <laughs> Pentheus' mother, Agave, which is still possessed at this point, carrying the head of her son, which she thought was a lion head, to Cadmus, her father. And at first I was kind of torn about what the lion could represent, but I came to the conclusion like, seeing as the lion is the king of the jungle, maybe it represented the wrath of King Dionysus and it was kind of an act that he was at fault for. So I was wondering what other people's point of views were on that. And then question four, the maenads are depicted pretty poorly in this and it kind of goes to show that the Greeks didn't view women as powerful. They were taken advantage of, used, possessed, and kind of made to act as fools. And Pentheus kind of saw them differently. He kind of saw them as foolish, but he saw their action, their poor actions as mistakes and just a way to escape society. And then question five, Elvis represents Dionysus. At this time, he compelled girls, he was king, godlike, and at his at Elvis's prime, he was very much like Dionysus. And question six, how do you think this compares to other Greek plays such as Oedipus Rex and Medea, and do you believe that this story could have been told without the Greek chorus?